Hey guys, it's John, and today I'm going to take you guys through another science experiment again. So, this week we'll look at an experiment that uses capillary action as the main science principle. So, for this experiment, you will need the following materials. Six paper towels, seven clear cups or glasses, red, yellow, and blue food coloring, scissors, and four cups of water. So, to begin the experiment, we are going to prepare the six paper towels individually. First, you are going to fold the paper towel horizontally across and make sure to press it down once you fold it so that we can keep that nice shape that we've gotten. Now, we're going to fold it one more time in that same direction, again, across vertically, basically. And once we do that one more time, we're going to press it down again to make sure we keep that shape. And then finally, we are going to fold it horizontally this time in the opposite direction and press it down once again to make sure it keeps that nice shape. From here, we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut about an inch off one of the ends of the paper towel that's now folded up. But make sure you cut off the end away from the hinge. You wanna make sure we keep that from all our folding. And you're going to repeat this step for the five other pieces of paper towel that we have here. Now we're going to fill up our glasses or cups with some water and we're going to alternate which glasses get filled up so every other glass gets filled. Now we can add our red, blue, yellow, and red food coloring in that order to the glasses with water and we're going to give them a solid mix until it's nice and consistent. Now while I finish up mixing my solutions I'll explain what capillary action actually is. So capillary action is an adhesive force inside a narrow tube or pore. This means that water or liquid is attracted to the surface of the tube or the pore itself. So what happens is that water climbs up the tube or the pore by basically sticking to it almost. And this attraction to surfaces is actually stronger than gravity in many cases, which pulls us down towards Earth. And this almost causes the water to get sucked upwards. Now we're going to place all the paper towels in each of the glasses as seen in the video. And once you've placed them into the glasses, it's just a waiting game from here. So now I'll take you guys through my results here in a second. So I ended up taking a picture every 30 minutes or so to just check in to see how the experiment was going. So from this experiment, capillary action is present here, but it's also present in many real world examples as well. So first at the top is a device called a glucometer, and that's used in the medical field to check someone's blood sugar levels. And it actually uses capillary action as well on the blood by basically pulling it into the test strip using adhesion. It's also seen in all plants.